crazy talk behind closed doors. Camilla became red in face as Joe Biden broke wind in front of her. Joe Biden reportedly made Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, blush as he broke wind while talking to her at COP26. Representing the Queen at the Climate Summit, Charles, Camilla, William and Kate Middleton all met world leaders for some chit-chat at the start of the conference. On November 1, the Duchess of Cornwall was photographed talking to Angela Merkel, Justin Trudeau and also President Joe Biden. The Duchess of Cornwall previously met Mr. Biden at the White House in 2015 back when he was still vice president under Barack Obama. Camilla and the U.S. leaders' chat was marked by an unexpected reaction from the 78-year-old president that she has been thinking about ever since. As they talked, Mr. Biden reportedly broke wind which made Prince Charles' wife very uncomfortable. An informed source has told the Mail on Sunday that Camilla was taken aback to hear Biden break wind as they made polite small talk at the global climate change gathering in Glasgow. It was long and loud and impossible to ignore, the source said. Camilla hasn't stopped talking about it. The gas leak reportedly happened after the audience listened to Queen Elizabeth's recorded speech. The monarch could not fly to Glasgow as per her doctor's orders but still managed to address the panel of leaders attending the conference. It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet, lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William, she said. I could not be more proud of them. In the coming days, the world has the chance to join in the shared objective of creating a safer, stable a future for our people and for the planet on which we depend. None of us underestimates the challenges ahead, but history has shown that when nations come together in common cause, there is always room for hope. Working side by side, we have the ability to solve the most insurmountable problems and to triumph over the greatest of adversities. I, for one, Hope that this conference will be one of those rare occasions where everyone will have the chance to rise above the politics of the moment, and achieve true statesmanship. The benefits of such actions will not be there to enjoy for all of us here today, we none of us will live forever. But we are doing this not for ourselves but for our children and our children's children, and those who will follow in their footsteps. Mr. Biden had already pledged to cut his country's emissions in half by 2030 in April, but on Monday issued a long-term plan for how to achieve net zero two decades later. He celebrated his $1.2 TRN infrastructure bill's passage through Congress on Friday, which he said will make historic and significant strides that take on the climate crisis. Boris Johnson may have hailed Joe Biden as a big breath of fresh air but it appears that events at the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow may have given the Duchess of Cornwall, on some level, grounds to disagree.